Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a look at the ASRock AB350M Pro 4 motherboard. This motherboard is suitable for all of the AMD Ryzen processors, uh, AM4 socket, including the latest 2000 series. It features two M.2 slots for your SSDs as well as two 16x PCIe slots, which means you can add additional graphics cards for Crossfire configuration. Uh, not to mention, it has uh, four DDR DIMM slots as well as USB-C and uh, Gigabit LAN and also the RGB headers. To test this motherboard, we'll be putting one of these in. It's the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G with the built-in Radeon Vega graphics. So it'd be interesting to see what the performance would be like. Let's start building our test rig, uh, but before then, we'll do a quick unboxing, so enjoy. All right, so we have the unboxing of the uh, ASRock AB350M Pro 4 motherboard. It's suitable for all of the AMD Ryzen desktop CPUs, including the new 2000 series. Um, let's begin. All right. So what do we have here? We have the uh, SATA cables. Yes, two of them there. SATA cables. Uh, the I/O shield. Um, there's two screws for your M.2 slots or SSDs. Um, there's your instruction manual, quick installation guide. Yep, and the uh, driver disk. And there's a quick memory configuration information. And uh, so look at the motherboard. Okay, so we have the motherboard and it's a micro ATX form factor. It's uh, nice and compact. All right, we'll start off with the uh, DDR dim slots here. We have four DDR dim slots. Support up to uh, 3600 OC. Okay your ATX power here, 24 pin ATX power, USB 3 and uh, four uh, SATA connectors here. And then along here we have the usual uh, configuration for your power switch resets, yep. USBs. Okay. Then there's two 16 times PCI slot and you can configure them for crossfire mode. There's one times four PCI slot there. There's also two M.2 connectors there for your SSDs. All right. And then this is the uh, AM4 socket for your AMD Ryzen CPUs and uh, suitable for the newer 2000 series as well. So we'll be mounting the uh, Ryzen 5 2400G uh, APU with the uh, built-in uh, RX Vega RX 11 graphics. So it'll be interesting to see what the performance is like. All right, let's have a look at the I.O. We have uh, here PS2, keyboard and mouse, USB 2, so standard 15-pin VGA, this is DVI, uh, there's your HDMI output, uh, USB-C, which is the uh, USB 3.1. Uh, and then we have three USB 3.1s here as well, a uh, four. Uh, gigabit LAN, and it's just a uh, one set of the audio connectors here. Line in, speaker out and mic in. This is the Elner audio. And there's your eight pin um, motherboard power as well. Yes, yeah, compact design. Um, it hasn't got many gaming features, but uh, it's suitable for what we need, which is a compact uh, Ryzen system, uh, all in one, kind of with built in graphics as well, and with the option to additional add additional graphics card. Uh, oh, there's your uh, RGB header for your uh, uh, RGB strips and everything like that and uh, that's interesting to have so i think yeah 
it'd be interesting to see what the performance is like on this motherboard and uh, we'll do a quick uh, system build so uh, we'll see you later We completed our build and it's all nicely fitted in a Coolmaster Q300P chassis. As you can see on this side we have the Corsair H115i Pro RGB cooler. It's an all-in-one 280mm radiator with uh, two 140mm RGB magnetic uh, levitation fans. For the motherboard we have the ASRock AB350M Pro 4 and it's a micro ATX board as you can see and uh, we've paired it with the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G uh, processor, the APU. We also have the uh, Patriot Healthfire SSD uh, and we've added a heatsink, a nice uh, heatsink, a heat spreader on top. And to finish off, we've added uh, three more of the RGB fans. This is the Corsair LL120, got two in the front and uh, one at the back here. So uh, this will look very nice with all the RGB effects when we switch it on. We're going to add a 750 watt or possibly 850 watt power supply uh, which will sit nicely here and then this will power everything up. We decided to get the uh, micro ATX motherboard because it has two 16x PCI slots. That will give us additional uh, option to add graphics cards, uh, thus improving the graphics performance while gaming as well as uh, increased hash rates during mining. So remember, we decided to build this because it wanted to be a portable gaming and mining rig. So we have mining on the go or gaming uh, at any place uh, during LAN parties and uh, events like that. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the build. Um, again, just need to add power supply back in and then uh, we're ready to go. The built-in graphics from the AMD Ryzen 5 a 2400G uh, in the form of the uh, Radeon RX 11 should give us uh, enough graphics performance for gaming etc. Uh, I'd be interested to see how well it performs during mining but uh, if that's not enough we can always add an additional graphics card. So yeah I'm very pleased with this build. Uh, I'd love to see this in effect with all this RGB uh, when it's ready. So thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Uh, give us a like and leave a comment below. You can actually purchase all the components in this build by the links down there. And uh, remember, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also visit our website. So until then, this is Winston for Forgit.com. It's unbelievable how many wires this thing has got.